Plugins are an awesome way to expand Adobe XD's functionality and there are thousands of different plugins to choose from. In today's video I'm going to show you my top 5 which I use on a daily basis. Plugin number one is called Icons for Design and it's using completely free icons which you can use for both personal and commercial projects. Here you can type in your icon name and I'm going to replace this menu icon for example just to show you. And finally one thing to pay attention to is you can change the dimensions of your icons here. So if I type in 24 for example and type in menu because that's the icon which we want to change right here, you can see that it's showing me all of these different menus. Now it's going to show you iOS menu which is basically some sort of a default icon which iOS uh, is using and MD menu which is more or less Android icons. So here you can see the collection it's, it's called Feather so that's the free collection of Feather icons and it includes this icon. This is Ionic material so basically menu uh, here for the material is for the Android and here Ionic is basically replicating the iOS look and feel. This is Metro, this is open and depending on the icon that you choose you're going to get more or less of these icon collections. So let's choose this one for example and I'm just going to click and as you can see it's going to place the icon right here. So if I zoom in a little bit closer and position my icon roughly here I'm going to select this one and hide it, select this one and I'm going to then apply this color for example of this arrow and there we go. Now we have this icon but I should actually apply the border color. There we go. Now we replace the icon using this plugin called Icons for Design. So once again icons are completely free. Make sure to check them out and it's going to be added the same way like all the plugins right here. Simply search Icons for Design. Next plugin is called UI Faces and you can see what it says right here. Select one or multiple shapes that you want to fill with avatars. So if I select this one and select this one. Let me see. Now I have to ungroup them first. So post one, post two, these folders. I'm going to right click and ungroup just to show you how this looks like. So I'm going to select this avatar and hold my shift key, select this avatar, head back to my plugins and you can see straight away that it changed because it's showing me all of these websites which have free images to use for both personal and commercial use in your projects and you can choose images from whichever one of these websites. So let's say I'm going to choose Unsplash for example and you can apply randomly or you have these filters. So if I click on the filters you can uh, further specify what you need and this is especially useful if you're working with a certain type of app. For example, I want to target this demographic. Let's go from 30 to let's say 50 year old people and I'm going to choose both male and female and you can choose the emotion which is really uh, extremely important especially because of the topic of the app you are working with. So let's go with neutral for this case and you can even specify the hair color but I'm not going to go in depth here. You can click on the advanced and you can see right here order filter results by popularity. So you can choose most popular images from Unsplash because that's the website that we selected. Apply avatar only to select shape instance in repeat grid which is useful if you're using repeat grids obviously and convert colored avatars to grayscale which is super useful because you don't have to go to Photoshop for example edit that create it to be grayscale or apply the object right here and then apply the top color and then overlay it with grayscale you can do it straight from here. Image size, you can choose original, 2x, 3x, depending on the size, but let's simply select photos and you can see it's working in the background and I can randomly apply two of the remaining or I can go ahead and choose whichever ones of these I want. So let's say I want to choose this one and I want to choose this one, hit apply. And there you go. You can see that it applied right here. Now, because I specified inside of my filters between 30 and 50 year old, male and female and neutral, that's why it just showed me these images, but you can always go back to source and then check more of these. So if I now select photos, you can see that it showed me this one. So make sure to play around with all of these settings if you want to get more images, but basically that's how it works and it's super simple to use as you saw.
The next plugin is called Lodi Files and you can install it the same way like you do with all of these plugins. What you need to create is a free profile. When you open up this plugin for the first time, it's going to ask you to create a free profile. Simply go to their website because that way you are going to be able to access all of these icons. So how it works inside, you have all of these awesome and free animated icons, animated logos, illustrations and so much more. But what we are interested in for this particular example is let's say this this heart. I want to animate this heart on tap. So when I tap on it, it's going to animate inside. So how to do that? Let's search for a heart, press enter or return, and it's going to show you all of these different options. So let's say I want to choose this one, simply tap on it. And you can see how it works. And I can simply insert it as Lodi right here on this button and it's going to insert it right here. But if it doesn't, for whatever reason, simply go back type in heart, there it is, click on it, drag and drop it inside. There we go. And I'm going to simply resize it to roughly this dimension. Let me go back to my layers panel, see where it is. And I need to position it inside of here. So icons right here. So here is our Lodi file. I'm going to drag it, position it right here and roughly around here, make sure it's in the center of my heart. And let's play automatically and hit preview right here, just to see how it looks. Preview once again. Let's preview it here. There we go. So I think it works fine. So what I'm going to do in this case is turn everything into a component. So I'm going to leave this Lodify where it is, and I'm going to simply group them, call it like, hit control K. For this default state, I'm going to go into my Lodi file right here. Instead of play automatically, I'm going to say no playback because it's just going to be like this. Then I'm going to create a new state, call it played. There we go. Inside of the plate, what I'm going to do is set it to play automatically or even better play on. Yeah, play automatically. Then this likes icon, which is this outline, I'm going to reduce it down in opacity. And here I have the field version of the same heart. So if I show you here, we just have the outline and here we just have the field. So field is going to be in this second state. So now let's go ahead and animate this prototype. And I'm going to select the entire component. I'm going to click on it. We're going to use tap auto animate and state. We are going to go to plate is on 0.4. There we go. And finally, let's go back to plate. It's this one. If I tap it, auto animate, we need to go back to the default state using the same settings so that we can unlike it if we choose. When we go back to the default state, hit preview. There is our heart, tap on it. It's going to animate and stay right here. And when I click on it, it's going to go back to the default state. So once again, Lodi files, awesome way if you want to add some animation and some motion to your designs, check it out. As I said, it's completely free. Next plugin I want to show you is Blobular. And this plugin is awesome because you can add all of these free shapes inside of your designs to further instantiate their look and feel. So how it works, once again, install it the same way like you do with all of your other plugins. You can change the complexity of your shape right here and you can see it increasing and changing in real time. So let's say that this complexity is good. Here you can change the uniqueness. So let's go with, I don't know, something a bit more unique like maybe this one. Then you can change the hue right here. You can change the situation, lightness, and you can add the border. You can change the border thickness. You can play around with all of these settings, but I'm going to simply select this artboard, switch back to my design click create blob. There we go. Let's change. Click this one, create blob. And there you go. It's going to place it inside of my design. So I can change it and manipulate it same way like I do with all of my shapes, right click and send to back, it's going to send it to back. And what you can do is because I have some colors right here, I can select this orange, for example, I can select this white, light blue, dark blue, but let's choose this orange color, for example. And the great way about it because it's completely vector. If I switch it right here, you can double click inside. And then you can play around with all of these points if you want to. So I can change the angle of this point, I can adjust it. 
move it around, manipulate it however I want. I can click right here and extend it further, maybe adjust it here. So it's an awesome way to add some background elements to your designs and you can play around with them however you want. You can rotate the shape, you can position it, let's say right here in the corner. And if I hit control enter or control preview, just to see how it looks like and there we go you can see how it looks like so once again blobular make sure to check it out it's awesome it's completely free and you can install it like you do with all of your other plugins last plugin i want to show you is called angle here it is right here and you cannot actually find it inside of the plugins you can with the old version but a bunch of people told me that it doesn't really work so this uh, uh, this plugin is actually premium so you have to pay for it because you're going to get all of these awesome looking um, mockups for adobe xd with all of these different devices from phones tablets desktops uh, mobile watches and so much more there are also some cool backgrounds and some elements shaders and all of these different things so it is premium but on their website it says that they have free version i'm going to leave the links uh, to their website down in the description below make sure to check it out to download the free version and make sure when you do to install the plugin directly from the folder that you get because if you install it from the shop so from creative cloud shop it's not going to work as it should so make sure to install it directly from your computer double click on it install it's going to ask you do you want to install you just say yes that's it there you go that's the all the only thing you need to do so how it actually works is if i zoom right here here is our mockup and we have a bunch of these different mockups inside of the premium package and if i go to my layers panel you can see this is uh, iphone 12 and you can double click inside and all you need to do is simply select this screen mask that's it for this particular version in order for this to work make sure to check out what they say on their website because they're changing it from time to time so if it doesn't work when you select this layer mask make sure to see why it doesn't and what you should do so all you need to do is simply select one of these screens let's choose this splash screen because i want to show you how it looks so as i said i selected this mask go back to your plugins select angular apply mockup and it's going to show you all of these different screens which we have inside of our design as i said i'm going to choose splash this is this screen select it hit apply to mockup it's going to work its magic and in just a couple of seconds there you go you have your screen inside as i said angle premium package comes with various different mockups such as phones such as watches such as laptops desktops tablets all of these different devices backgrounds all of these cool things so make sure to check it out i will leave the link in the description i'm not sponsored by them but i'm just using them every single day in my project and i think for adobe xd there is no greater mockup than angle final note for angle is make sure to install the plugin directly from your computer in the package that you get that way it is going to work just fine don't install it from adobe creative cloud plugins thank you for watching this video i really hope you found value in it if you did make sure to press that like button and make sure to subscribe to the channel because i upload new videos all about adobe xd ui ux design passive income techniques and so much more every single week right here on the channel so if you don't want to miss that make sure to subscribe thank you for watching this one and until next time take care